Beatrice Ermengarde. Reverend Mother, there can be no doubt about Ermengarde. The religious life is no place for the pious. You mean the pretentiously pious, Sister Bertha? Let's see, the, there's Christina, and then there's Maria. Well, after last night, I do not think there can be any doubt in Reverend Mother's mind about Maria. I gave her permission to leave the Abbey for the day. I told you, Sister Bertha. All right. Reverend Mother, I brought Maria. She's waiting. Sister Sophia, the mistress of Hoshlos and the mistress of novices do not see eye to eye about Maria. How do you feel about her? Well, I love her very dearly, but she always seems to get in trouble, doesn't she? Exactly what I say. She climbs a tree and scrapes her knee. Her dress has got to a tear. She waltzes on her way to mass and whistles on the stair. And underneath her
back up that mountain in the dark, singing all the way. And that brings up another transgression. I was singing last night, and I was singing without your permission. Maria, it's only here in the Abbey that there's rule about singing. Yes, and that's the hardest rule of all for me. Sister Margarete is always reminding me, but too late, after I've started singing. And when you were singing in the garden at the top of your voice? But Mother, it's that kind of song. I came to the window, and you saw me, you stopped. It's been on my mind ever since it happened. It's been on my mind too. I wish I hadn't stopped. I used to sing that song when I was a child, but I can't quite remember. Please.
when we enter the Abbey, our worldly clothes are given to the poor. And what about this one? The poor didn't want this one. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what you call worldly dress. It belonged to our last postulant. I would have made myself another dress, but I wasn't given time. I can make my own clothes. Good. I'll see that you're given some material. Today, if possible. Now, you will be taken care of by children. There are seven of them. You'll see how far they progress in their studies and go from there. Each morning will be spent in the classroom. Each afternoon, they march. You must see at all times to conduct themselves with decorum and orderliness. The first rule in this house is discipline. Yes, sir.
mixing them up. Listen. So do
Nobody's supposed to know he's here. Don't tell your father. Why not? Well, your father's pretty Austrian. We're all Austrian. Some people ought to think we're German. They're, they're pretty mad at those who don't think so. They're getting ready to do. Well, let's hope nothing happens to your father. Don't worry about father. He was decorated for bravery. I know. I'm not worried about him. The only one I'm worried about is his father, is his daughter. Me? Why? How old are you? Sixteen.
Maria. Fräulein Maria, it's Frau Schmidt. I'm getting ready for bed. The captain is going to Vienna tomorrow. I have this material he ordered for a new dress for you. Oh, how nice of him. Even before it's made, this is the prettiest dress I've ever had. I hope the captain will like it because I want to ask him for more material. More? Oh, it's not for me, for the children, for play clothes. The Von Trapp children never play. The captain doesn't like them to get dirty. But they're children. They have to climb trees, roll in the grass, think of all the rocks and caves. The captain says the best exercise is marching. The children will continue to march. I hope you find your room comfortable. Yes, thank you. There will be new curtains for the window. They will be hung tomorrow. But these curtains are very good. There will be new curtains. <laughs> will Captain be away long? I don't know. Of course, he has to come home every time he hires a new governess. I sometimes think the children get rid of their governess just because they want to see their father. He must want to see them too. Since his wife died, they remind him too much of her. You can put that away. You won't be using it. Why not? The captain won't have music here. He won't have music. And he used to love music. There were wonderful evenings here. His wife would sing, and he would play the violin and guitar. But now he shut all that out of his life. So that's why he's the way he is. But to not have music, that's wrong for him. And wrong for the children, too. It will work out. The captain will be married again before the summer is over. That would change everything. They have a mother again. It's going to rain. You'd better close your window. Dear God, I know now that you have sent me here on a mission. I must help these children to love their new mother and prepare them to win her love so that she will never want them to leave her. And I pray that this will become a happy family in thy sight. God bless the captain, and Liesel, and Friedrich, and Marva, and Luisa, and Brigida, and little Gretel, and, oh yes, what's the other boy's name? Well, God bless what's his name. God bless the Reverend Mother, and Sister Margareta, and everybody at Nonberg Avenue. And now, dear God, about Please help her to know that I am her friend and help her to tell me what she's up to. Are you going to tell on me? Please help me to be understanding so that I may not understand.
prince on the bridge of the castle moon her Let me yodel, let me yodel, let me boo Men on the road with a load to tow her Let me yodel, let me yodel, let me boo Men in the midst of a tumble down her Let me yodel, let me yodel, let me boo Men drinking beer with a foam of flow her Let me yodel, let me yodel, let me
Max can still be on the telephone. I know he's desperate about getting people for the Cold Spirit Festival. You like it? Oh, yes. We have to spend some time back in Vienna. I have Kairos Estates to look after. I thought that was a corporation now. It is, and I'm president. You, president of a corporation? I, after all, I managed Hyrus affairs years before he died. I can't see you sitting behind the desk. Well, of course. I'll wear a business suit and smoke a big cigar. Excuse me, Captain. Air deadline would you like his coffee. While he's telling me, he just finished. Sorry I took so long. Any luck? How'd you like this for the cultural festival? The greatest choir in Austria. The finest mixed quartet in Europe, and the best soprano in the world. Max is something I'd love to hear. So would I. <laughs> so far, all I've got to is a basso who isn't even profundo. Max, you always come up with a good festival concert. And why do I do it? Because my motto is, never start looking for the people that you end up getting. That's why I've been teleporting all over. Paris, Rome, Stockholm, London. Oh, I'm getting all this telephone. How else could I afford it? Why am I up here? <laughs> I hoped it was because he liked me. Of course I like you. Why wouldn't I like you? You live like a king. You have an excellent wine cellar. Max. I like rich people. I like the way they live, and I like the way I live when I'm with them. Treat me as a government official.
Now the is yours. You know, while we're back in Vienna, I really would like to explore your property a lot. I don't even know half of it. I don't know how I have taken it. <laughs>
One more dance. I'm glad you're here. Joe, yeah, did you think you could pull the gallery without me? No, we have an odd man. A little odd, but charming. Liesl, tell Frau Schmidt to say two more phrases, and I want to see Frau Lange Maria. Two new places? We need another woman. Who? Liesl? Oh, no, she's much too young. I'll ask Frau Lange Maria. Not serious. Why not? She's a nursemaid. I. I don't mind. I don't mind. But your friends would be as tough as that as Maria. And why not? I also tell why not. Max, can you change in a hurry?
over Austria for something like this, and I find it here. Oh, wait a minute, Max. Singing group of seven children in one family. Max, Gary didn't want the children to sing for the guests tonight. I had to persuade him. Uh, you have influence. You must talk to him. Max. Elsa, this is important to Austria. You wouldn't do me any harm either. <laughs> must have been a trying experience for you. It was, rather, Mother. Has it taught you anything? I've learned that I never want to leave these walls again. Why did you do this, Maria? I didn't even say goodbye. I left. I left without even telling them that I was going. It's terrible. Sit down, Maria. Maria, what happened? Why did you do this? I was frightened. Frightened? I was confused. I felt... I never felt that way before. I knew that I couldn't stay. And I knew that here, I would be away from it all. That here, I would be safe. Maria, this time is not to be used as an escape.
have to find a life you were going to live. How do I find it? 